Hi folks, this is Dan Sullivan speaking. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, we've got, still got some people uh, signing in, so I'll just give it another minute or, minute or two and then we'll get started. Well, again, folks, uh, thanks for joining uh, this morning uh, and for any of those across the pond this afternoon. Um, looking forward to, to speaking with you about Undelete and the how easy it is to use and the problems that it solved. Because as you know, losing a file can be devastating. You know, utter panic and pandemonium can break out. Uh, but here at Conducive, we get it, and that's why we created Undelete. Uh, you can recover files in just seconds. And certainly with even today's work from home environments, uh, data protection and, and speedy recovery are even, even more important. And we'll talk more about that as we go through the presentation. Uh, again, my name is Dan Sullivan. I happen to be the RVP uh, for Conducive Technologies for the Eastern Region. And we spared no expense this morning uh, to bring a, a special guest with to join us. And that is uh, Gary Kwan, otherwise known as GQ. He's our Senior Vice President of Technology Strategy and uh, really happy to have him uh, joining here on the call today. GQ, are you out there? I am here, Dan, and glad to be here with you. And don't let Dan fool you. Although he's the uh, RVP of sales, he's very technically minded. I'm just here to handle the deep dive questions. But one thing we do like to uh, do here is make this uh, session very interactive. And by that, I mean, if you have any questions during the session or at the end, just type them in in the question box and we'll get, it, get to them uh, either during the session or at the very end. And as Dan would say, no question is a bad question. <laughs> thanks, Dan. Uh, GQ, you took my line, but uh, thanks for that. Uh, and and we do mean that we have a, usually have a very uh, very active uh, question and answer period afterwards uh, based on all the questions uh, that you do provide in the question box. So please don't hesitate. Um, and also for joining today, you'll be receiving a free trial copy of Undelete uh, after the uh, the presentation is over. So again, look for that in your email. Uh, a little while after after we're done. Uh, so with that, um, many of you may have heard, may or may not have heard of us of Conducive Technologies. We used to be the Disk Keeper Corporation. And you may wonder why in the world do we have any thought leadership uh, on the topic of uh, what we're going to speak about today? Well, you're going to hear why that's true. We're going to break it into two parts. First, a high-level overview of the problems and how Undelete solves them. And second, uh, GQ is going to spend a bit of time doing a deeper technical dive on how Undelete works uh, and how easy it is to use. Uh, just before that, just want to talk briefly about Conducive Technologies. We're the 12th oldest software company in the world, been in business for over 39 years. Um, we really focus on both uh, with our velocity and disk keeper products prevent, preventing fragmentation from occurring in the Windows operating system. And as a result, eliminating 30 plus percent of IO to backend storage, improving application performance 50 to 300%, and those are actual customer numbers. And along with that, uh, we've, we had announced uh, Undelete for a number of years and recently GQ and his team upgraded Undelete to Undelete 11, uh, and it, Undelete uh, plays in both uh, small companies and large enterprises, government agencies, public sector, commercial customers, uh, et cetera. Uh, and you also see here we're, we're partners with VMware, Citrix, uh, and with all the work we do in a Windows environment, uh, we're also a Microsoft uh, Gold partner 
Uh, and we do a lot around SQL Server. And you can see there that we've recently uh, certified GQ and his team is certified under this Microsoft SQL Server IO reliability certification program. Uh, and we can talk about that in another day, but we're really here today to talk about how we can help you solve your uh, network file shared deletion programs uh, and problems. And with that GQ, uh, I do want to talk about uh, how it is we, we solve them. Uh, but I can't tell you how many times I've been on a call with an undelete customer and they say something like, undelete really saved my bacon. Uh, and, and folks, again, another reason why you're here, but you can see some of the, the reasons that uh, problems occur around file deletion and file recovery. Um, and the last one here is my presentation is missing. Uh, GQ, don't you have a kind of a customer example of, of something in that same vein? Well, Dan, one that stands out is there was a CEO hey, he's working on a PowerPoint presentation and he spent about four hours that morning getting it ready for that afternoon and then he accidentally deleted it. Uh, and then he goes to his IT guys and says, can you get this back for me? Of course, you know, they couldn't go back to the backup the night before because I didn't have all his changes that he worked on that morning. So he got, uh, he had undelete and he was able to recover it. And I like that he, he uh, contacted us and thanked us. He says, you guys made me look like a hero to my CEO. Thank you. So that was a nice, uh, nice kudos for us. It, it is. And again, you know, that happens hundreds and thousands of times, right? But folks, uh, benefiting from the ease and the completion of the re retrieval uh, from Undelete. Uh, and with around that, uh, I think we have a, a poll that we're going to now now share with you all and ask you to you to help with some information. And for that, I'd like to bring in Don Rich Creek, our director of marketing. Don, you out there? Sure, I'm Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, GQ. Hello, everyone. So we do have a quick poll here today. We want to check in with our audience and, and find out how many times per month does, does this happen to you? Like, do you have to recover files for your users? Is it one to five, five to 10, 10 to 20, or just simply, you know, a ton? It's too many to even count. So we'll, we'll give this here another 30 seconds or so to, to have the audience um, fill in their answers. We wanna see, how many times per month does this happen to you? Do, you? do you have to recover files for your users? One to five, five to 10, 10 to 20 or a ton. All right, I'm gonna close out the poll here now, Dan, because it looks like we've got pretty much everyone answering. So let me close it out and then I'll share the results. Let's see. Okay, Dan, so our audience is definitely experiencing these problems. We have about 60% of the audience saying it happens one to five, to times a month, 33% uh, saying five to 10 times a month, and 7% saying 10 to 20 times a month. So it's definitely happening with our audience. And you know, Dan, it only takes one time, as we've talked about. That's right, Don. Well, thanks. Thank you, uh, everyone, for participating. Don, thank you for, for uh, managing through the poll. Uh, and you're right. It only takes that one time. Uh, for it to become problematic, chaotic, et cetera. So uh, let's you know, kind of dig right in here to what really the reality and the solution might be. So, you know, well, we've heard from a lot of uh, IT folks who you can't recover a file, uh, you know, and especially in the case of what I'm gonna call even the, the zero day delete. And that's when a file has been created or a version saved, but then it's been deleted before a backup came through to save it. Uh, and we'll talk about more of that on the next slide. And, you know, while backups are always necessary, there are those gaps there. And, you know, they've been able to, you know, you can't recover a file, but that's what Undelete helps solve for and fills in the gap. It lets you recover files at just the click of a button. So GQ, uh, I was wondering if you maybe want to talk a little bit about, you know, the problem with recovering lost files. Be glad to, Dan, and 
first thing that comes to mind is, of course, going to the backup, but backup can be very time consuming, especially when the user doesn't have the details of the lost file, such as the full name or where the where the file was or when the file was deleted. So you're not sure how far back, which backup to go to there. So it'll be time consuming. And then, of course, uh, you, you think of the Windows Recycle Bin. But the Windows Recycle Bin is very limited. It doesn't capture network shares, doesn't command line uh, deletions, deletions from applications, and of course, we call zero day deletes and changes. And those are those changes in between the backups or the snapshots. And the snapshots are better than the backup, but they still do not eliminate this zero day uh, type of files. And of course, it can be a little costly in times of storage requirements. So yeah. th those are the some of the problems of recovering the lost files, Dan. Sure, and, and GQ, what about when files are not protected when deleted from a network share? Well, let's give a little, just, you know, example here. Here's a client machine. He sees a file on the network share, and, of course, on the file server, you see that same file. So when he deletes that file, Dan, it's gone. It's not, it doesn't show up locally or on the network share in the recycle bin, it's gone. You have to go back to the backup to try to recover it. And of course, if there was changes since that last backup, you lost those, Dan. Yep, absolutely, GQ. And again, that whole idea of the zero day delete and the backup not having occurred when the time of that deletion. So drum roll, please, GQ. We've got the solution <laughs> on delete 11, folks. So uh, Undelete 11 is, is really the primo uh, file recovery tool for you. Uh, it's got an enhanced recovery bin, which captures all of your deleted files. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, it's got a very powerful versioning uh, uh, examples. For one is a, uh, a one I'd like to, and you can see all the different files uh, that it captures. Uh, but I had an example of a major clothing retailer who designs all of their pieces, uh, you know, in-house. They're constantly making changes and, and going back and forth between different versions. And Underleet lets them do that uh, because, because it allows for the recovery of their inter intermediate iterations of files. And so, as I said here too, it's been expanded to take both Microsoft Office files, and as you can see here, CAD, Photoshop, and other kind of file types. GQ and his team also uh, rewrote the application using a familiar file explorer interface. So what you're gonna see later, later on here is, is an environment that's very familiar to you. Uh, drag and drop recovery, um, and now even an admin can monitor file deletions, uh, as you can see here, who, what, when, where was deleted, uh, and even if there were a large amount of file deletions that had occurred, and I'll leave some of those thoughts up to you as to what the, how that might help you in, in certain situations. And there's some pretty neat search features that we'll talk about uh, to help you with some instant recovery. Uh, but GQ, I've done enough of the talking here. How about taking us on a kind of a a little tour and show folks what's behind the curtain here for Undelete. Dan, yeah, let me give a quick example here. Same thing as before, you're on the client machine, the client deletes all these folders and files from his client machine on off a of network share. Of course, now after he deletes it, they're gone, Dan. Yeah. You, you look at there, but because he has Undelete, the undelete recovery bin, he can open that up and can you see all those files were captured by the undelete recovery bin. And Wait a then, second, GQ, there was nothing there. There's nothing there on the actual folders and files that they were deleted from, but our recovery bin captured them all. And That's they can, and if they want to recover them, 
They can select them all. They can select just certain files that they want to, and they can recover them back to the original location or to their own selected location too. And they're just back. Simple as that. One button click, Dan. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's been fantastic, GQ. And again, I think you can see folks why customers that use it, you know, say it's so so easy uh, and yet so powerful. So he's right. That's 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 all it took, and it was just as easy as that. But that's really not all uh, that Undelete uh, provides for you. Uh, we have an emergency Undelete, which allows you to recover deleted files even before Undelete is installed. Uh, we have a Undelete client version, which allows the users to recover their own deleted network file shares, which certainly saves, you know, IT folks valuable time. Uh, GQ, you want to talk about the wipe free and secure delete? Be glad to. Let me let me talk about a little about all these things here, Dan. With emergency undelete, on the Windows file system, when a file gets deleted, what it does is that file is just marked as all that space that that data was allocated to as free that data of that file is still there. So until it gets overwritten, Emergency Undelete is able to go in there and try to recover that file for you. And of course, this is before, you know, you have Undelete on there, which would actually uh, save that file for you. Uh, so we've helped many people with that, not only, uh, you know, enterprise users, but even home users where people come in and says, God, I've accidentally, uh, deleted uh, my my all my photos off a USB flash, and this will help on that. That undelete client, as we said, it allows users to recover their own files off a of network share. And I, I want to point out, I said there, we keep the file security attributes on the files, so they can only see and recover files that they have their security rights to. And then I indicated, you know, when you delete a file off a Windows file system, the data is still there. Well, some people, they don't want that. They want, when, a, when you delete a file, they want it gone. So we have two features there. One is wipe free space. And that is, it will go in the background Look, uh, take all the free space and overwrite it with a certain pattern and then make it virtually unrecoverable from there. And then with secure delete, the other one is when you delete a file, when you delete it, it will actually override it with the same NSA or DOD pattern to make sure that it's unrecoverable. So it cannot be recovered. Uh, thanks for the time, Dan. It was went a little technical on that, but thank you. No, GQ. Well, you know what? You're doing such a good job here. I'm going to allow you to continue. <laughs> well, thanks. Well, we did add a few options here. You know, by default, there's a recovery bin that gets created on each volume that you have it enabled on. So uh, it does that. But we can create what is a called a common bin. You can put a common bin that is for all your volumes on your system. And you can put that on another volume or you can even put it on the cloud so it's up there uh, a little safer farther as a further backup. Then, you know, we indicate that we save all files and we do do that, but we we include a exclusion list. For instance, by default, we we exclude .temp files, and we exclude zero length files, and certain temporary files that we know that are intermediate files. Of course, you could always modify that and update it to exclude what you want or do not want. And then we added inclusion. Some users just want to protect certain folders or certain files. So you can just do an exclusion list. And then we have the recovery bin management. And, you know, uh, we, we wanna make sure that 
we don't cause problems by saving everything. So you can set the recovery bin size and it will automatically purge when it reaches that size and always purging the oldest deleted files and only saving the most recent ones. So that's easily settable. By default, it sets it to 20% of your free space. So as free space drops, it will get lower, but you can also set it to an absolute size. Then also the silver edition, we gave you a single pane where you could do, deploy it uh, from a single plane across your network and management. You can, from there, you can uh, remotely connect to undelete on any other uh, system that it's installed on. So we're, we looked at it and uh, gave all these features to help out on this, Dan. I tell you, that's that's quite an expanded list in this in this latest release GQ. So that's that's really impressive. And you know, before we talked about too how you and your team updated it from a you know a file explorer like interface and gave it new search capabilities and and also uh, enhanced versioning. Maybe we can just briefly kind of cruise through those here over the next couple of slides. Be glad to, Dan. The first one is. Uh, we went back to the familiar file explorer interface. When you open up uh, the undelete recovery bin GUI, you'll see a very familiar interface to try and recover your files there, Dan. Yeah, so and then easy. searching. And searching. You know, one thing I indicated before is, you know, a person uh, reports a deleted file, but he can't remember the full name of it, or he can't remember what folder it was in. So uh, this gets tough. Well, we, we understand that. So we gave these search options to search for, uh, you know, certain file names with wild cards, or you can, you can indicate, give me, find me deleted files between a certain date range, or you can even find it by, you know, deleted files deleted by that certain person. So we made it very easy to find those deleted files, Dan. Yeah, well, certainly helpful for somebody like me, GQ. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. You know, and I also talked about uh, that one customer of mine that, that used versioning extensively. You also improved that. Well, you know, the versioning, and I, I wanna go into that a little bit more just to explain that. For instance, you know, you're, in a Word document file or a PowerPoint uh, file or a spreadsheet. And you made changes, you exit, you go back in, you made some more changes and, oh, you know, you, you finally find out, says, oh, wait a minute, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to take out that section, I need to go back. Well, what Undelete does, and you select which file types you wanna keep or version, by default, it will, keep the last five versions of that file type. So you can go back and say, wow. okay, let me go back to that time and let me preview that file. It says, yep, this is the one that I need to go back to and get it. And as I said, by default, it saves the last five, but you can set that to how many you want to set to, Dan. That's pretty cool, GQ. Thanks, uh, thanks for adding that in. So, so hopefully, folks. And again, I know GQ mentioned at the beginning that uh, you know if you have any questions, type them in at the question box. Uh, so uh, don't forget uh, to do that. So I think I hope you can see here that it it's truly so uh, comprehensive a solution for recovering files, and yet so easy uh, and so complete. So so with that, I just wanted to share with you a couple of success stories here and, and you can read these you know faster than i can talk about them but uh you know pc test engineering laboratory there you know it's much better and faster than retrieving from a backup uh marion county board of county commissioners uh almost all our users know we have it and count on it and it saves time you continually see in all of these uh, comments that time saving and ease of use uh, are many of the key comments that all of these different success stories uh, have in common. Um, again, so high electrical, 
I can recover them easily. Maricopa County, you know, recovering files has been crucial, enabled us to provide the customer service with immediate results. So really uh, impressive. And then the uh, UAB Department of Pathology, the verging has saved us by minimizing, again, saving time, the amount of time for getting our users back to work. Uh, and, and they go on and on. So, uh, but we can't wait to also have you experience it and install it with the, uh, the free trial that you're gonna get after, uh, after the end of this webinar and, and, and put it to good use in your environment. So there are a number of different additions of Undelete 11 GQ. And I'm going to let you, if you wouldn't mind, take the folks through them. Thanks, Dan. And this will also answer a question of Philip, which he asked, is the software installed on the server or on the clients or both? And Philip, I think this may answer you. First of all, you have the undelete server, and that is the one that you would install on your uh, server systems, like a file server, and that will protect those files on that network share. Now, on the client machine, if you wanted them to protect their own local files, then you would install the Undelete 11 Professional. And the Undelete Professional will uh, protect those local files, but it also allows you to connect to the network shares that that person is connected to and he can connect and see the undelete recovery bin and see his files and i i want to iterate his files because it's only files that he has uh, security access to he cannot see other people's deleted files and then we have the undelete desktop client and the client is if you want the users to be able to uh to recover their own files. So, you know, sometimes many IT admins, they don't want to spend the time or, you know, they have better, a lot of better things do uh, than recover files. So they give the users the access to recover their own files. And that's what this desktop client does. It doesn't protect the local files, but it allows them to, uh, recover their own delete files off the of network share. And with undelete server, I think by default, Dan, you get 10 desktop clients with every undelete server. If you do, GQ. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. And, and uh, you know, I hope that gives everybody a, a view of what's available uh, in the different undelete 11 versions. So really, what are the kind of the next steps here? Well, as I, I mentioned to you, you're gonna get a uh, trial copy of Undelete 11. Uh, so, you know, please install it. Again, there's no reboot required, so it just installs in minutes. It's, it'll actually take you longer to download the software than it will to install it. Um, and then just experience, you know, the benefits here of Undelete. Um, and in addition, if you're so interested, we talked before about what it is uh, our disk keeper and velocity software does for uh, Windows server environments relative to IO reduction. We're also happy to, to chat with you about that. A lot of times customers start with Undelete and when they see how rock solid that solution is and how easy it is to use, uh, they then ask us about all the other uh, solutions that we have for folks uh, to improve performance in their environments. Uh, and again, we're happy to work with you in any and all of these environments. That's, uh, you know, that's part of our responsibility here. So, so we look forward to that. So GQ, uh, we have any questions in the question box? We do, Dan, we got a good group here. Great. Now, Bodan asks, can undelete recover data from a CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc? Uh, Bodan, unfortunately, no. What we currently recover, uh, support right now is the NTF, Windows NTFS and FAT file systems, not uh, the file system used on the CDs or DVDs, unless you know you do some formatting on there and do a uh, FAT file system. I'm not sure that's possible. Uh, 
but good question. Then Daniel asked, does it work with files in OneDrive? And Daniel, it does. Uh, as you know, in OneDrive, even though you have the files up on the cloud, it, it creates a local uh, copy of those folders too, and we can protect those folders too. Uh, let's see here. Good question. That's a good question. Yes. There's then, a lot of cloud cloud folks out there, I'm sure. Then Rick asks, and this is a good one, does this replace the need for backup and snapshots? And no, it doesn't replace it. It supplements it. It's a quick and easy way to retrieve the deleted files. And retrieving those changes made between backups and snapshots. So it doesn't replace it, it supplements it, okay? And then, uh, oh, Daniel, he came, another question he has is, what happens if the file is deleted using shift delete? And that what that does, of course, it jumps the Windows recycle bin, but we will still save it there. It will be in our uh, recovery bin until it, you know, you delete it out there or it gets purged out. Philip has a good question. Will server addition work on a NAS such as QNAP and others? And yes and no, Philip. We've had people installed on some NAS system, but those NAS system have to be using a Windows operating system on that NAS itself. And it will gets installed there and can work on there. Otherwise, no. Then Michael asks, are Velocity and Undelete compatible with each other? Yes, they are. You can have them installed uh, and there's no issues there. They work well together. Yep. And let's see here. Oh, here, Dan, here. Here's one for you. How is it licensed? Well, as we as you said before, uh, too, it it depends what edition uh, that you're using, uh, but if it's on Delete 11 server, it's gonna be per server that you use. And again, as GQ mentioned, that comes with uh, 10 perfect uh, licenses uh, in that. So uh, again, it's, it's about which edition you use, uh, depends on what kind of licensing type uh, you, you, know, you would be uh, applying. Oh, thanks, Dan. Appreciate that. Sure. Someone asked, how much space does Undelete require? You know, uh, the actual software itself is only, gosh, uh, 100 megabytes to install. Now, this, now, what space it does take is the recovery bin. And uh, as I indicated, it, by default, it uses 20% of the free space on a volume and will automatically purge when it reaches that. Of course, as your free space drops, so will the recovery bin size. But this is all settable. And then as I indicated, you could set up a common bin, which is you set up a the recovery bin for all your volumes at a certain location. It could be a separate volume if you want. And let's see here. Oh, George asked, does it work with Isilon or NetApp NAS systems. And George, as I indicated before, you know, it will work on the NAS system if they're running the Windows uh, operating system as part of that NAS and you can install it on there. Uh, Massimo asks, this is a good question. On version 10 files, fi on version 10, files that was moved out from the server were not saved. Does this new version say the files moved out from server to any other system? Now, Asimo, if the files are moved, they're not. You know what? I, I'm going to have to check on that because when they're moved, they're not really getting deleted. They're they're uh, they're getting moved to another place. I'll have to get back to you on that, Masimo, just to be sure on that. Good question on that. And then Gary asks, and not me, but another Gary, will Undelete yeah. work in a MS Windows home group environment? Yes, it will. It doesn't, you don't need a domain uh, environment for it to work on. And here's another good, how much resources overhead does it use? Now, very little. 
And the reason for this is when a file gets deleted, what we do is we don't, you know, try to say, oh, that file's getting deleted, let me copy it. Copying can, especially with a large file, can take a while. What we do is a rename. Rename is all we do is change the file header to rename it to the recovery bin. Very quick cycle, uh, just as quick as deleting it. Uh, and then all the uh, all the work to put it in uh, organized in the recovery bin, that's all done in the background. In fact, we use something called, we call uh, something called Invisitasking. Not only are we working in the background, that when we go do our work, we go check to see how much CPU is the system using? How many IOs are on the queue? And if the and even though we're working on the background and we got scheduled, we'll go take a look at that. If there's other work being done, we back off. So very little there. Let's see here. A couple more here, Dan. Good group here. I was going to say, great group. If a you this is from Philip. If a user is editing a new file such as a Word doc but doesn't save the file, just closes down, just closes Word by accident first. Will it recover that file? Hmm. So let's say Word crashes. I'm not, sh I don't think it's going to save that uh, file, Phil, because what we do is when you close it, we're going to save that version. So we never see it getting closed. Now, if it gets closed, actually gets closed down by accident, which you're saying it actually gets closed, then yes, we will save it. But let's say the word word crashes, so it never gets closed. We wouldn't save it, but in your case, we said it does get closed by accident. Yes, we will save it, and you can, then you can recover it. So good question on that. Just a few more, Dan. Wow. Uh, and can users undelete files that are not their, not theirs? And as we indicated, undelete maintains a Windows file security and protection. So users can, if you give them that capability, they can only recover files that they have permission to. And is it difficult to handle? many deployments of the product. Uh, you know, I said the server version has the capability to install and uninstall across the network and that you could remotely connect to undelete on remote systems from there. So when you bring up the UI and you connect remotely, it's like you're on undelete on that remote system there. Let me check here, Dan. I think that might be it. This was a good group here. I'll say a great group. Well, folks, first of all, thanks for those questions because, uh, uh, and I hope uh, that, uh, you know, you got the answers that you wanted. Um, and uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to think about what, what we were sharing with you and, and have you ask those questions. So thanks for that. Again, you'll be receiving uh, a free, free trial copy of Undelete Server. So do install that. And Again, any questions that you have, please reach back to us because we're more than happy to discuss uh, and answer any of those for you. And and also um, do take a look on our website or if you do call us back um, about our disk keeper and velocity uh, patented IO reduction software too, because uh, on top of the benefits Undelete can deliver from fast and easy file recovery, you can get fast and easy I/O reduction and application performance improvement just by installing those other products. So again, thanks everybody. Appreciate your time, and we look forward to work with you. Have a great rest of the day. Be well and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.